there's a mole. Right at the top of the circus. He's been there for years. I played characters in the past that have been quite um, uh, frenetic and expressed themselves emotionally in a very, uh, in a very physical way. This was a, a wonderful opportunity to play something very different from that. To some extent, as an actor, you're at the mercy of the industry and the imagination of the people that cast you. And I thought that uh, Chris Nolan had a uh, great imagination casting me as the, uh, as the commissioner. Um, uh, and that gave me an opportunity to do something I think that people hadn't, hadn't seen before. And then the same goes for Tomas. So he, he saw something and, um, uh, and uh, lucky for me, he, uh, he, he, he cast me in this part. I think what's wonderful about the film is that it doesn't go down the Bond or Bourne route, which is one way to go with spies, but it, it allows you to understand that these people are essentially working on their own, they're lonely, uh, it can be a very tough life. I love the fact that there's a scene in the film, which isn't in the book, which is the party, which um, gave us all an, op an opportunity to, to be together and gave the audience an opportunity, I think, to see how those guys can also only be ever within their own worlds. And, and Jim Priddo, my character, is probably the, the sacrificial lamb of the piece. And, uh, you know, I really felt for him. He was a wonderful character to play. I, I thank Thomas for giving me the opportunity to do that. I jumped the queue to punch Tom Hardy in the face. Um, no, I, I love him dearly. I, I, that fell flat, didn't it? Christ, maybe the translation's coming through slow. No, I, I adore him. He's a, he's a puppy dog of a human being and a very highly talented actor. And uh, we've worked together before um, with a very different dynamic. So it was quite nice to play his boss and, and come in heavy. But heavy's not heavy enough for Tom. He kept telling me to hit him harder. And I had to point out that I had a few more scenes to do that day and didn't want to break my knuckles. When I read the book, you could easily see it was totally impossible to make a film from, from it because it's so, so uh, complicated. So you have to... Um, you have to find the filet or a theme or a, a strand in, in the book that you follow. And then um, Peter Strawn and Bridget O'Connor uh, made a fantastic work with this. It was uh, fantastic to see how they managed to, to dig out this um, screenplay out of the book. All the way through the adaptation process, you could always go back to the book. Um, when you had to change something or come with a new idea, we always went back to the book to find something, or indeed to the carrier himself, to David Cornwall, who was incredibly generous and supportive, came up with new ideas. And many of the new scenes that are in the film came from little anecdotes he told <coughs> us about his time in MI5. So the Christmas party was based on a real story about a, a raucous Christmas party MI5 had where the police were called, uh, which we loved, so we had to put that in. So uh, we always felt we could just go back to the book or to, or to David.